Hi there, it's Sam from poodlestock.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is a single milk carton in its own holder. And I'm going to twist the handle back and you pull it out like that. So that's your single milk carton in its holder with its handle. And it comes from one sheet of cardstock, whether it's eight and a half by 11 or whether it's A4, you can get one um, one of these completed projects out of it. So I'm going to show you how to cut it down because the handle comes from it as well and you need to cut the handle first. So you start with your piece of cardstock. Now um, A4 is eight and a quarter inches wide. Um, obviously eight and a half by 11 American um, paper is eight and a half, so that little bit bigger. But you need to cut your cardstock down to seven and three quarters of an inch wide. So um, those of us with A4, we're going to have a skinny handle. Those in America are going to have a slightly wider one, but it doesn't matter. That's what you're going to go with. The next piece of cardstock, which is what makes the box, is seven and three quarters of an inch, so the full width, by five and five eighths of an inch. And I'm sorry, I should have given you that in metric. Um, you cut your piece of cardstock down to 19 and a half centimetres. Okay, so you turn your paper around, five and five eighths of an inch which is here which is 13 and a half centimeters so you cut that down that's your piece of cardstock for the actual box itself and then for the base you're going to cut this one down to five by five inches which is i haven't written it down that is going to be 12 by 12 let me have a look. Twelve and a half by twelve and a half. So that is how you get your three pieces to make the box, um, the milk carton, the box, and the handle, and then you do you do still have some bits left over. So that's how you cut it down. So basically, essentially, you need to cut your handle first. Okay. <clears throat> right. Grabbing my scoring tool to make the base, which is what the milk carton sits in. You score that at, it's 11.8 centimetres, 11.8 centimetres by 11.8 centimetres. You score it at three and a half centimetres all the way around, or one and a half inches all the way around. My notes are a bit funny today. I will make sure everything's written sensibly on the blog, but look, those are my notes today. <laughs> Okay, and to make the milk carton itself, score this one at one and seven eighths, three and three quarters, five and five eighths, and at seven and a half inches. We've got a very, very thin little strip there, and that is 4.5, 9, 13.5, and 18 centimeters. And then you turn it around, score the base, score the on the short side at one and seven eighths three and three quarters and at five and in metric that is going to be 4.5 9 and 12.5 okay so that's the scoring done so fold all your score lines and burnish them well and this was tempting turquoise and um i loved it i thought it was really gorgeous against that paper so I thought it was nice and it was very sweet taffy that paper very lovely but I'm going to do a slightly different version of this one and I'm using the flashback paper this time okay bits to cut away on the milk carton itself you've got a narrow bit and then a deeper bit and then two big bits it's the skinny section by the big part that you want to remove And then cut up these score lines. And then with the box base, you need, I'm going to get my bigger scissors out actually, it'll be easier for me. We're going to rotate in a sort of a, a pinwheel fashion. So cut one, don't cut this one, but rotate it round and then cut it. So basically you're always cutting into the bottom right hand corner and just keep rotating it round and that's because of the dimensions of the box 
it would over these ones would overlap otherwise and you'd have three layers of cardstock on one side of your base and nothing on the other or one on the other side and so it folds up better if you come around like this so just move those scrappy bits off okay we've got some little pieces of DSP to go here and here and they are just on the lid they're not on the main part um, they risk getting caught when you're putting it in and out of your um, basket I suppose you'd call it and my two tiny little pieces which are so tiny they're stuck to the table they measure one and five eighths of an inch and one and five eighths by one inch which is four by three centimeters and determining which is the front and the back that is the back so we need one here and one here so not the one next to the the thin bit we're going to stick adhesive to that one and that one a little bit of snow on the back of these oh no it's not it's um maritime the paper i'm sorry it's not flashback it's because i thought i was going to use flashback so let's just go with the nautical theme this time round. Okay, and then a thin piece of adhesive here, and it is just wide enough for sticky strip. So you're looking at about, I can't find the end of it, there it is. Well, it's not very wide, put it that way. But it is just, just the right width. Look at that, couldn't get more perfect for the sticky strip. And peel off the backing of that fold it up and close it and obviously we know that this is the front and the back so fold your sides in the bottom up and then we want some here as well just to keep it close and obviously depending on whether you've got something really heavy in there or not as to whether you put lots of adhesive on um, and then push these sides in so not where the paper is push the sides in pinch it closed and then grab um, a clothes peg and these are the plain ones and oh that buckled in well that wasn't meant to happen there we go and then to put the base together put some adhesive in all of these corners I'm going to use my fuse oh that's got why does it keep coming itself up these days I think my um, fuse is turning into sticky strip, it's going camera shy. So just fold all of those round. And then my my DSP that's going to go all the way round it is one and five eighths of an inch by eight and a half inches, which is three by twenty centimetres. Now I'm just laying it on. Oh, that's too wide. It shouldn't be that wide. How wide should it be? It should be one and a quarter inches, which I'm going to have to trim this down. <laughs> one and a quarter inches, and it should be three and a half centimetres. Let me trim this down. There we go. I thought I'd been really clever getting my, my anchors all perfectly lined up. Well, they're close enough, aren't they? So just lay it on and gently bend to go around. <coughs> Excuse me, I've got a cold at the moment. There we go, I'm just reinforcing my score lines. A little piece of snail there, and then I can lay this on my box and just centre it all. And that fits on perfectly. To get the handle, here's my handle from before. You could put ribbon or something on it. I actually quite like that it's plain. <coughs> but I want to put some holes in. So I've got my my tiny little punch. This is my 1 16th of an inch punch, which is 1.6 um, millimetres. And I'm just punching in at the sides, in the middle. I don't know how well you can see that. 
So just punch through there. And through there. And then I've got my Candy Dot Brad bases. Oh, actually probably would have helped if I'd put holes in here as well. Might have been useful. Into the ends of my handle. Candy Dot Brad bases. Um, they're going to come in through here first. And obviously you need to make sure which way it's going to split is left to right rather than up and down. So if it went up and down you'd see it. It would poke through. So that's one side done. And then the other side. Push through there. And through there. And now it is simply a case of putting candy dots on. So I've got these here, these are the brights, and I've got my real red ones here. One in there. Oops. Another one on the other side. And then I've got one to go on the clothes peg. And like I say, the milk cotton looks plain like that, but when you pop it into the box with this little little handle that goes backwards and forwards it's really rather sweet so anyway there you go and it's it's all fully hinging but very sweet and from one piece of cardstock i hope you like it anyway thank you very much for joining me coughs and all hopefully my cough my cough will be better soon take care bye